Greetings everyone, hope you're keeping well out there, as I'm sure you all know by now, my name is Alex, and today we are checking these out, which is in fact, the Lamoro Optical Lenses and iPhone Case. Since the arrival of the smartphone, everyone now has a portable camera on them 24-7. However, sometimes the pictures that they capture are not always the best. That's where the Lamoro iPhone case and lenses come into play, basically upgrading your iPhone camera and taking it up to the next level in terms of photography. But just how good will they actually be? Well, that is exactly what we're going to find out today. So we're going to start off the usual quick unboxing and then we are going to try them out. So let's just start off with the iPhone case. Now, just to confirm, this is available in a wide range of colors as well as different finishes. Now, the one I shall be unboxing here is the leather version, but you can also get it in a nice, glossy polycarbonate version too. So we pull this out of here like so, and then we can remove this casing. And there we go. There is the case for the iPhone 7 Plus or iPhone 8 Plus. And you know what? Straight away, just from holding that and feeling it, it really does have a very premium finish to it. Now, this retails for around £35 here in the UK, but it is well and truly worth it. I mean, it feels very solid. It looks very stylish. And this here, this is actually the metal part where the lenses screw into, so they won't keep falling out or go out of alignment. They really will stay completely solid and in place. So let us move on to the first of four lenses that are currently available in the Lamoro lens range. Now this one is the Telephoto 60mm silver version of the lens and we're going to open this up and whoa, whoa look at that packaging, whoa, that is a serious lens. Let me take this off now, a little protective cover and oh my word, I'm going to move this box out of the way, can you see that? how incredible that looks. I have fallen in love with this lens already. I mean, you can feel that premium coming through once more because these lenses, they are glass, by the way. They are multi-element blue coated glass lenses. And then the outside body, this is all anodized aluminium. So it really is sheer quality. So this is now just screw into place on the iPhone case. And there we go. That is absolutely solid. It is not gonna go anywhere. How cool does that look? I mean, imagine just standing there. Yeah, that is awesome. Let's just see what else comes in here. What have we got? Oh, it's a little microfiber drawstring bag. The next lens we're going to take a look at is the Fisheye 8mm black lens, okay? Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail because obviously they will be quite similar to the first lens we've looked at. But straight away, there is your microfiber bag once more. And then, of course, this is the lens itself. So I'm going to take this out of here take off the lens cover and wow just look at that it really is incredible seriously i mean if you are someone out there who likes photography these are just designed for you we now have the wide angle 18 millimeter silver lens to take a look, a look at this will be quite interesting and again there you are you are met with the same quality as with the other lenses it feels well made it feels very secure and you know it's going to be a lot of fun to use must try these out, I can't wait to try these out. Let's just get this other one unboxed very quickly then. So this is now the Micro 10 times magnification 25 millimeter black lens, okay? And this is the one, of course, where you get something additional in the box because you actually get the usual microfiber bag, but we don't need that just yet. You actually get a diffuser with this lens because let's just say you want to maybe capture a bug up close, you can put the bug inside there or put that over it. And of course, with your lens attached, you can hopefully get some very, very incredible photos. But there we go. That is the lenses all unboxed and ready to go. And I'm going to now attach my iPhone 7 Plus into this case. I'm going to attach these lenses and then we are going to take some photos. So to kick things off, we are starting with the 25mm macro lens and as you can see here, this is a close-up of a dandelion which was actually taken by my six-year-old son which just goes to show that anyone can use these lenses to capture some truly stunning images. Now, I just want to confirm that all the pictures and videos you are about to see or view have not been edited or manipulated in any way. You are seeing them in their true and original form. 
But just look at the detail this lens picks up and the best thing with all these lenses is that you have no loss of quality when using them. There is no vignetting, everything stays nice and clear and most importantly very sharp. Another plus side, by the way, that I noticed when using these lenses was how easy it was to simply attach one of your choice and begin snapping away. Even when it comes to video, as you can see here, this lens works just as well, providing some quite simple yet cinematic shots. The next test we are trying out is a comparison between the 60mm telephoto lens and the 18mm wide angle lens. Now this is the original native picture taken with the iPhone and now here is a side by side comparison with the lenses attached and straight away you can see a huge difference. For example the 60mm tele lens takes us right into the shot to get close and personal with the subject and again you can make out details of the building that you normally wouldn't with the original native photograph. Most importantly however, there is no loss of pixel quality once more and then with the 18mm wide angle lens you can see just how much this opens up the entire shot. So not only can you see the actual subject itself but its surroundings too. Here is another side-by-side -side comparison of some landscape shots. First of all, looking at the 18mm wide angle lens, which once more opens up the shot of the building so you can truly see the scale of how big it really is. And then if we switch them over to the 60mm telephoto lens, we are again taking close to the subject so we can see more of the detail of whatever we are photographing without having to go near it. But this is probably the best use for the wide angle lens as you can see here this is a picture taken of the three graces buildings here in Liverpool but the native iPhone lens can't quite fit them all in unless I move further away which at this point is impossible without falling into the river behind me. However, simply attach the 18mm wide angle lens and not only can you easily fit in all three buildings into one glorious shot, but you also have plenty of room in the bordering area to play around with too. And finally, we move on to the 8mm fisheye lens and here is a picture of our neighbour's cat trying to figure out exactly what I am doing. However, I think the best use for this lens is for video, especially if you are a vlogger. Because with this lens, not only does it capture the moment, but it also adds an element of style, opens up the shot and most importantly allows whoever is viewing it to be a part of your moment with fantastic clarity. Well, there we go. That was a quick overview and of course, demonstration of the Lamoro lenses and iPhone case. And you know what? From my personal experience of trying these out, these lenses are something else. For starters, in terms of how well made these lenses are, you can truly appreciate it as soon as you get them out of the box because they really have been extremely well crafted to make sure not only that they last, but of course, most importantly, work well. Now, of course, the price could be the only factor to take into consideration when purchasing these lenses because although they are fantastic and really do up your game in terms of iPhone photography, when you buy all these together along with the case, you're looking at around three to four hundred pounds, which in layman terms is almost the same price as a pretty standard DSLR. But in its defense, the other main selling point that these lenses can offer you is of course the portability. Because when you're carrying around a DSLR, you've got to carry around the camera, the lenses, maybe a shoulder bag, everything that you need to make sure that you get the perfect picture. But with these, you just quite simply pull out the lens out your pocket and attach it to your already carried iPhone and then you can begin snapping away. But overall, however, I think these lenses are well and truly worth it in terms of value for money. Because not only are you getting superior lenses that can quickly attach to your current iPhone camera and take your photography up to the next level, but you're also getting the opportunities to do it in a very sleek and of course very stylish way. Now, as usual, before I go, if you've got any questions or comments you'd like to ask me about the Lamoro lenses and, of course, iPhone case, then you know what to do. Put them in the comment section below, and I'll do my very best to get back to you with the answer as quickly as possible. Not forgetting, if you like this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up. Don't forget to share it, and most importantly, hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching, and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.